people, several on Twitter and YouTube people, elsewhere or on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. And I'm here to cut Old Christmas Tree, Old Christmas Tree. I thought for a second it had copper light liquid on it because it turned the test strip um, a dark color. And come to find out that was some um, fragrance oil that had pulled at the bottom. And after I wiped it down and tested a single piece, found out soap was perfectly safe. It's testing at a high eight. In the meantime. I'm going to do this slightly different. Instead of cutting three and then five, I'm going to cut these in one inch measures. So I got out this cutter. Ta da! The red is showing up a brown, but it's all good. The red was actually tomato, and it's going to be a face soap, or maybe not, because that's kind of small. We'll leave that as samples. Look at that one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's really pretty. I think I'm going to move the camera so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to move the glitter out the way of the camera. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can see better. Actually, let's try moving the camera over here. And that's too bright. So, a couple more adjustments. Just move the lamp. Not the light. Well, hey, I tried. <laughs> Smells just like a Christmas tree. And there's a few Christmas colorations going on in there. Three, four, six, eight.
Yeah, that is just being caused by the tomatoes. So it's going to be an extra long curing time. So instead of being ready by Christmas, it's probably going to be ready by, I'll say, the middle of January. But that's okay because I can always sell the Christmas soap next Christmas. See <laughs> how? <laughs> and then it will have an extra long cure time to boot. Now, let's go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to adjust this all the way to the two inch mark. And give me a wire bar soap. Gorgeous. Looks like a Christmas cookie. <laughs> but it smells like a Christmas tree. <clears throat> uh, actually, before I do that, let's pop it onto the scale. Three point three ounces. So that's a eight dollar piece of soap. Which is a good price for Christmas. is mainly for the colorations. As you can tell, it got glitter all over it. Honestly, I just want to test the fragrance oil. That worked out well too. You can really see the colors missing. Tomato soup in a soap. Not a good idea. It's good for your skin, but with a color that, if color is the issue, tomatoes not the best solution because none of it looks red to me, and the scent accelerated. So together. Nah. There's something they put in Christmas scents that tends to rice or celebrate the whole batch. Uh, I was told to be aware that it might need stabilizing for the vanilla content. In fact, the bottle has that written on it, but this is a different issue altogether than that. Yeah. Anyway. This has been Peepa7 on Twitter and YouTube. Peepa S. We're on the internet. 
My blog is located at Purple Butterfly Dash Pizza dot blogspot dot com, and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at Pizza dot Etsy dot com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Yeah. Oops. Well, that one wasn't trying to cooperate with me, was it? <laughs> Bye.